My name is Daniel McKinley, and today I am here at Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And I'm going to show you how to play the two-player game and one of my personal favorites, Jaipur from Space Cowboys. So the way you play Jaipur is two players will set up. First off, you must have three camels in the middle of the market row, and you deal each player five cards. Now, if you have any camels in your hand, you're going to place them face up in front of you. Camels never apply for your hand limit, and can always be placed in front of you. You don't have to tell your opponent how many you have, but they can be used very well for trading. After setup has begun, you will have your hand of cards. I'll show you what I have, but normally we would keep it secret from the other player. There are six kind of commodities. There are leather, uh, spice, fabric, silver, gold, and rubies. There is also camel cards, which are not considered a commodity, but are worth some bonus points at the end of the game. On a player's turn, you have a couple choices of what you can do. You can either take a card, you can trade cards, or you can sell. The goal of the game is to have the most amount of points at the end of the game by selling cards. You'll notice this silver right here has a 5 on the outside and also 5 gold on the back of the token. This is to show how many points you have. At the beginning of the game you're going to set these tokens up in a descending order with the highest values on top. That is important because the earlier you sell each of the tokens you will take the topmost, thus the most points. So on your turn, as I said before, you can take a card. In my previous hand, I have two purple, so I might want to go for the purple card. When you take a card like this, any one of the six commodities, you just simply add it to your hand and draw the next card to replace it. It could be any one of the cards that are available. However, instead, if I choose to take a camel, I must take all of the camels that are in the market, not just some. That is the only time you can take more than one that is not as part of a trade. This is risky because it gives more cards available for your opponent. Now let's say if I wanted to trade. Once again, these purples look pretty great. So I might want to trade my two gold and a camel along with these three purple cards to put them in my hand. That would be available for the next player to recruit from there. They can trade for them or take or simply maybe take camels or sell. Then on your turn you can sell cards from your hand to take that many tokens. In this example I'll sell six purple cards and I would take the top six tokens. Give me a total of roughly 12 points. Probably more like 15. I would take these and I put them in my scoring pile for the end of the game. But now I don't have any cards in my hand, so it's going to be a little tricky as the game continues. Now, in this game, there is no direct interaction with the players. What I do technically will not directly affect the other player, but it will always affect what market is available and what tokens are available for them to use. So I can play that into my strategy. Whereas if I traded these gold, they're pretty valuable, but I got way more tokens from that behind selling the fabric. Now there are also bonus ships here that have either three, four, or five cards printed on the back of them. If you sell three, four, or five or more cards, you take the appropriate ship. The three tokens are worth anywhere from one to three points. The four tokens are from four to six. And the fives are worth anywhere up to ten tokens. At the end of the game, the players will continue playing until either three of the commodity tokens are completely depleted or the deck can no longer fill the market. At that point, players reveal all of the tokens that they have and the player who ended with the most camels in front of them gets a five point bonus. Whoever player has the highest amount of points for that round will get a round marker. The first player to win two of the three round markers wins the game. So that's how you play Jaipur. This is honestly one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, I highly recommend, recommend it. And if you've never played it before, please come by Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico to give it a try. Uh -huh.